I really, really, really hope that what we're seeing this evening has nothing to do with this. Do you see what this says? And there's a microfish. This started in the 1800s, all the way out to 2017. This is the very, very, very first article on geoengineering, and it's dated July the 13th, 1880. You know, I do a lot of research. Someone asked me if I was a conspiracy theorist today person to person, face to face, and I said, no, I bring receipts, I bring receipts, and then just about everything I say, because first of all, I see something, and I disbelieve it, and I ask myself, prove yourself wrong, Phoenix, prove yourself wrong, stop being naive, prove yourself wrong, and this right here, can show you that weather modification has been around for centuries. Okay? It's 2023. The very first article that you see on weather modification, I just showed it to you. This document is 1880. Method of participating. And it has a pat it's a patent. I told someone today, I bring patents. You can call me whatever you want. But I really like I said, there's two realities that's showing at the same time. I really pray that what I'm seeing today is not related to this. I have to prove myself wrong. Now I'm gonna say a few things in the rest of this video from my heart not from a researcher's standpoint because I've seen people in towns being totally devastated I've been seeing this for a while towns devastated that I had to pull away from doing this for a while and think of what else can I talk about that's important but let's get into the footage of some of the things that happened in the last few hours. I mean, very short period of time, like in the last four to five hours. And I just want to say to the people that are victims of this, I am so sorry this happened to you. I wish there was something I could do for you. And I'm just, I'm just totally blown away on the intestinal fortitude some of these people had to get in their cars and chase these tornadoes yelling in a car drive back drive back get back get back you know trying to warn other people guys we still got it in the united states we still have heart and character there's a lot of people that don't have it or forgot about it but i just want to say thank you just watching this today looking at this footage it made me realize that there are still people that care. And that means a lot, guys. We got this. If the economy tanks, we're going to find a way to come together. We're going to find a way. Like, share, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. I just want you to see some of this footage. I'm showing the names. I'm making sure I give credit. But this, this is just too much. I mean, it's just too much. I mean, the amount of devastation and all. Okay, Fast News Network. This is just, it says a roof collapsed during a concert by Morbid Angel at the Apollo Theater in Belvedere, Illinois. This is just too much. I, I mean, they're trying to find the people. They're trying to get to the people. I, I, I have never seen so much devastation in my life. 
I, I, you know, and I know that there's places I've recorded on that had a lot of problems. Where the nation, you, you know, hey, look, I'm, I'm making sure I give credit. You can see all this that's going on. I, I mean, look at this. Crime with Bobby. I, I mean, these people are endangering their lives to get this footage to us. And all of you that I'm showing your, your footage, please, you know, understand I'm just doing this just to show people what's going on. I mean, you guys have risked your lives doing this. There are people actually driving saying, back up, back up. Y y you know, drive faster, back up, back up. Because of all this, all this tornadic type activity going on. Y'all, I don't know what we're going to wake up to tomorrow. I have no idea. But it actually got me so emotional watching it. I couldn't do nothing but cry. It's just crazy. Y you know? People, there were people that were probably out tonight that had no idea of what was going on. Look at all of this. And I'm going to say this. Be it as it may, you know, there's two realities as always in front of us at the same time. Someone even said that to me in my own town. I mean, even I know that, and you should know that. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show you something in a second. And I'm going to say this because some of you are such sweet people at heart that you don't think that someone is evil enough to even make this happen. Okay? And that it could be Mother Nature, but then again, we don't know. We don't know. And if somebody's making all this destruction happen, you better make sure, you better make sure that you figure out a way for you not to get karma from this. If you brainwashed us to feel that, if this is Jason uh, Bednar, if you brainwashed us to think that there's no, there's a such thing as karma and there's not, so be it. So be it. But I tell you what, if there is a such thing as karma, even if you got other people to do this, even if you got other people to do this, this is Tanner Charles. Got other people to do this, you still are the director. You are the creator of it. You are the director of the play. And you better pray <laughs> for your own sake that you don't have a karmic debt if somebody else did this. If this is nature's way of doing things, I have nothing to do but to accept that. I'm a very spiritual person at heart. But, like I said, there's always two realities going on at the same time. I want to say thanks to the people on Twitter. I was retweeting tweeting things left and right. And I'd like to say uh, thanks to all of you that was helping me pass along the things, the information that I was posting. And thanks for liking the all the activity that I did send. I mean, I was sending things left and right. Um, you may see me actually on YouTube. And you might see me on Rumble. And you might see me on Odyssey. But the thing is, is that we, we collectively share on Twitter. Because especially when something happens, we come together. And we make sure... We make sure that this information gets out because we are the reporters. We are the true reporters. All these people you see retweeting things, liking posts and retweeting and all, they are the real true reporters. I can't take this responsibility on my own, all of us collectively. And if this shows anyone anything, it shows that we have to get over our differences we have been so socially engineered based on the titles that some entity made and we associate ourselves with it that we separate ourselves from each other there's going to come a time where we may have to start bartering and some of you may start killing and, and trying to steal from other people but if you just come together we can have so much more 
but like share and subscribe make sure if you're on Twitter do a hashtag look, look at the uh, trending hashtag right now for tornado and you will see so much footage that is just unbelievable my heart goes out to everybody sending heart chakra energy may this strengthen you may this give you vitality to face all the challenges that you may see or the challenges that you might have to assist someone through during this time god bless you all i don't like to say bless blessing because i don't like to wish someone to be less that's what blessing is is to be less so i send blessings to all of you ciao